Why is my eyeliner fucked up all the time? Why? Why can't my eyeliner just be great? <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are going to be doing something really cool. We're going to be testing out the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in medium slash deep. I don't know why she still is labeling this translucent because translucent means it has no cover. It's see-through. But if it's medium slash deep, it's not translucent. Am I translucent? I don't think so. No, but seriously, um, I loved the original translucent setting powder of this powder. She's one of the great, well, she has one of the best formulations for setting powders. So when they came out with this one, I was like, what? And y'all always got my back. Y'all are always like, did you see this? I'm always getting a DM, a Snapchat message, something like that, asking if I've seen the latest and greatest product that has come out for us. And I didn't even know about this one um, until I saw Iris Shell, I think it is, Iris Shell, um, her YouTube video on this. And I was like, what? And I didn't know that it was in stores or online or anything like that. I just watched her video and I was kind of intrigued. And as you guys started asking if I was going to review it, I ended up purchasing it. This does retail for $38. So it is pretty pricey, but you get um, 29 grams or one ounce. And comparing that to my Sasha Buttercup setting powder, you get one ounce of that. And this was $25 and this is $38. Once again, you're paying for the name. As far as Sasha, it's not that big of a brand, at least in the U.S., Laura Mercier, however, is, and it's a big amongst the celebrity makeup artists, so they, you know, really live and breathe this product. So, I am, let me take this gum out of my mouth, because that is just so disgusting. I am personally about an NC50, NC55, give or take, or the foundation that I use today is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and this is in the shade Truffle. Now, this matches me perfectly. As I was applying this, because it just re-upped on this foundation I just was like uh this is why I love this foundation so I am a truffle in this shade Kat Von D I am a deep 7 8 I'm about a mocha and Maybelline so that gives you about a shade reference on what I am so I am really 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 excited to see how this works so I haven't even opened it yet um the shifter is still closed so we're gonna see is this baking approved because so far from what I saw on Iris Shell's page you're not really going to be able to bake with this. It looks like it's going to be more so of a foundation setting powder as opposed to a brightening, highlighting powder. But a lot of women don't like to bake and a lot of women don't like a super light highlighting powder or under eye or anything like that. They look to, like to look a lot more natural like kind of how I look right now. So the concealer that I use was my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable, super blendable Concealer. This is C. 6-7-8, so it's the darkest concealer in this formula. Uh, very natural looking. It's not too bright or too light as far as like my LA Girl Pro Conceal or um, the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation or Concealer. Those I use uh, a lot more if I want like a bright kind of really, really, really intense highlighting contour. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to see if I can bake with this because... <laughs> I have no idea. So I am going to use my Beauty Blender because if you've watched my channel and watched my videos, you know I like to press my uh, powders into my skin with my Beauty Blender. So I actually have to make sure I'm not creasing my crease crease under there. So let me show you guys what the powder looks like. So this is what it looks like. It reminds me a lot of my Black Radiance um, setting powder that I got. It's like kind of like that clay color. I'm afraid this will be way too dark, um, but I'm just going to go in for the sake of the video. So I'm going to take that right under my eye. Okay, it is exactly the same color as my skin tone. So if you are one of my girls that loves a natural highlight, this is going to be great for you. Me, personally, I like a little more color, not so skin tone-ish. <laughs> Y'all, this is exactly my skin color. Probably not really, really, really great to bake with. 
However, if you don't like to bake and you just like to set your concealer and powder and everything and go and like, you know, for my stay-at-home moms, you guys like a little bit more natural for the workplace if you're a teacher and you you know you don't want all that extreme highlighting contour this is going to be beautiful it has the same formula as the original but just not suitable for highlighting and contouring it's really really great for setting the powder setting your foundation especially if you like a more matte finish this is going to be great using it with a beauty blender you know just pressing it into the skin it's molding in because this beauty blender is wet, so it's molding into the skin, seeping into the skin. I think it's going to be great for that. But however, if you like to highlight and contour, I think it's not going to be suitable for you. But I still think it's a great setting powder for all over the face. And I actually might just use that for setting my entire face because sometimes I feel like some of my foundations are a little bit more oily. So this is going to be great for that. So it is, as I mentioned, 38 bucks. Not too expensive, but expensive for some of my women. Um, a dupe for this is the Black Radiance a Contour Powder. I'm sorry, not the Black Radiance. Um, black let me go grab it. <laughs> so a really good dupe is this Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. So they're about the same color. You get one ounce of this, one ounce of this. I believe I paid 15 bucks maybe? Anywhere between 15 to 20 bucks for this as opposed to 38 for this. So it's like a pretty good, pretty good dupe. So if you don't want to spend all the money for Miss Laura, Black Opal is a little bit cheaper and it's black owned because I know a lot of my black women like to shop black owned. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini review slash demo. Um, as you can see on my face, it gives a natural look. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoy. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Let me know what else I've missed. If you want to see anything else reviewed on my channel, y'all know it's income tax time. So I got money. I don't, I don't got money, but I will get money. <laughs> But no, seriously, it's income tax time, so I can splurge a little bit more on products that you guys would like to see me review. So leave all those suggestions down below. I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Bye!